Put an optimistic cynic guy. Shit, ho got a hell of a grip. It's never a problem to niggas is piling in bitches. They all We must pay homage to him. Yo YouTube what's going on D-Boy Classics and with today's video is finally my paint defenders or pure rub protector showcase man I know y'all been waiting for this and definitely I'm glad to get it out for y'all but really here's all the video bro first off though I'm gonna go over how I made the build specifically not really all specific but I'm gonna show you all um, my exact height exact wingspan weight all that little stuff but enough of you talking let's get into the video man all right y'all so to begin with the video we have them at 7-1 and um, from previous 2Ks, I have my 7-1 as well. And for some reason, 7-1 proved to be the most balanced on um, center height, in my opinion. I know people will probably go against what 7-3 is probably to play the best defense on that and get the most boards. That's true, that's true. But also, too, they are slow in transition. And with 7-1, I'm able to guard 7-3s, 7-2s, other 7-1s, and I'm able to keep up with 6, I mean, not 6 foot, 7 foot, 6 11, so forth. So yeah, it's definitely, in my opinion, the most balanced height for a center. But next up, let's get into the weight. All right, y'all, so next up, you see right here, I made them 246, and the reason I made them 246, so I gained a little bit extra on my acceleration. Also, I don't affect too much on my uh, strength. You see right here, my strength's still at 95. Acceleration push up to a 50. So that's real. Now, like I said, transition-wise, I'm gonna be there. Have the Hall of Fame chase down artists, I'm gonna be there. So, there you go, I'm all over the court with this build, man. But next up, let's get into the wingspan. 
All right, lastly, with making my build or this adjustment with the wingspan, you see my wingspan is a 95.2, which is max wingspan for this build. The reason I did that, honestly, is just to get, be able to get more rebounds, be able to play better defense in some aspects, especially since I'm just a seven one. So you can see right here, increase by me max up my wingspan. I increased my block to a 90, and when I probably hit 90. Nine at some point it would be a 94, so it's compensating for that for this sort of thing, whatever what I did with my stats overall. And you see, it did bring down my strength down by two, but you'll see when you see when I do the actual stats and all that in the next part of this video, you'll see you'll see where it really don't matter with that. But besides that, let's move on to my actual stats, my overall, and all that other stuff, man. All right, y'all. So next up, you can see on the screen, man, my actual finalized build that I played with so far. You see, he is a 97 paint defender, man. Definitely, it, it took me, it probably took me a week to get this part. All that grinding, all, I, did, I played a lot of um, my career, a lot of wreck, all that stuff in part two. And definitely, um, it paid off a lot, man. But enough of me talking, let's get into the stats right here. So, beginning with the stats, my close shot is an 85. My driving layup is a 62. My driving dunks is a 69. My standing dunks is a 97. And my post hook is a 32. My mid range is a 59, my three point shot is a 47, my free throw is a 51, and my post fade is a 32. My passing accuracy is a 70, my ball handle is a 33, and my post wounds is a 62. For my defense, my interior defense is a 97, my perimeter defense is a 62, lateral quickness is a 53, steals is a 66, blocks is a 92, offensive and defensive rebound is at 81. So for my physical stats, you can see right here, my speed is at 63, acceleration is at 54, my strength is at 68, vertical is at 53, and my stamina is at 99. Keep on with my physical stats, I did do some of the, uh, what do you call it, the gym activities, the gym workouts, so it does boost my stats up a little bit, but overall, still strong, still be able to really just run the court all he needs to do, so definitely the build pays off, man. But next up, let's get into the badges. All right, y'all, so beginning with my badges, you can see right here, I'm starting on my finishing badges, and you can see I haven't really finished maxing them out yet. I still got six more uh, potential upgrades I can get to, but so far with the badges, for the points I did put in for my badges, I have contact finisher and pro touch. The reason I chose contact finisher is obviously I want to get some posterizers and get some highlights. From the previous videos, I know y'all seen me posterize a couple people, definitely in, some, in a gruesome manner. <laughs> But um, with Pro Touch too, Pro Touch helps with better timing. You see from the definition, definitely puts in a lot of work. Definitely uh, rewards for good timing and all that. Especially if I'm matching the paint, you know, take an open layup. I, I, the odds of me missing that is very low. If I do time it. But next up, let's get into our shooting badges. All right, so next one you see right here is the shooting badges. Only have one potential upgrade for that because he's not really a good shooter, unfortunately. Completely different from last year, but besides from that, man, he'd still be able to do his thing on the court. The bad that I choose was slippery off ball, and the reason I chose that was because, Lee, yeah, I move really fast off ball, so I'm be able to cut in and out efficiently, especially with pick and roller. That's the not another badge, from the badge I plan on getting. That's going to help a lot, just be able to cut in and out of the paint, cut to the basket when I need to after I set the screen. So that's really all it is. But next up, we're going to go into the playmaking badges. All right, so next up right here is the playmaking badges. Only I was able to get three potential upgrades, so what I put those points towards was postman technician. And Lee, you seen in the videos and all the uploaded with postman technician, I put in work. <laughs> like Lee, I'm able to bully anyone who don't got no um, defensive badges to stop a postman, especially smaller builds. So Lee, I just push them out the way and just cut right into the paint. Very, very good badge, man. Definitely, I can't wait to make my post score run protective bread. Definitely gonna go crazy with him with that. But besides from that, let's get into the bread and butter, which is the defensive badges. All right, y'all. So lastly, with the badges, is here is my defensive rebound badges. Basically, what makes this whole build. You can see right here, I have six Hall of Fames and one bronze. And my first Hall of Fame badge is Chase the Artist. The reason I have Chase the Artist on Hall of Fame is they can stop cherry pickers or in fast breaks. Like I said before, transition wise is what makes this build very dangerous, especially on defense. Able to cover the whole court, so later that's all that is to it. Next up is clamps. Clamps helps a lot with postman technician, helps a lot with pick and rolls, and helps with slashers, especially in their takeover. Not not all the time I'll be able to stop them with the blow bys, but here and there, if I'm able to collide them right, they stop in their tracks and they really can't really get to the paint. Next up is the mandatory badge for any defenders, which is intimidator. Basically, intimidator is defensive stopper. And a whole different look. <laughs> That's really all that really is to that. 
Next up is Pogo Stick, which is the underrated badge. I called this back <laughs> way back before 2K20 um, release. And Pogo Stick is laid, just helps you recover just in case you get caught with a pump fake or there's a whole bunch of people swarming the paint. Basically, just like I'm able to jump all I need to do. Obviously, I can't spam it because it's not gonna always help me like that. But the times I do time my jumps, so I do time my um, test, it's gonna be there. It's gonna help me up a lot. Next up is Rebound and Chaser. Rebound and Chaser is basically hustle rebounder. And you can see from my previous stats, when I was a 95, my um, offensive and defensive rebounder was at a 79. And Lee, y'all seen my previous video. I'm, I was still horse. I was still getting boards left and right. So. Like I said, rebound is universal as long as you have the badges, you got good positioning, and IQ and all that, you're able to get any boards. And last, next up, not lastly, next up is run protect, the run protect the badge. And I feel like if you are any glass can lockdown, run protect the paint defender, this is a mandatory. At least have this on uh, gold. Hall of Fame is a whole different look for it. I was able to get my first snatch block when it was on silver, so definitely the badge is working. It's very, very clutch. And on top of that, if you do get a, a lot of such a succession of blocks, you're able to um, boost up your own takeover as well as your teammates. So it's very helpful badge when you're trying to get hot. So definitely look into that badge. And lastly, for my bronze badges, is Trapper. Trapper goes along with uh, clamps and uh, off wall pests, but like I said, clamps is more potent. In this case, I do collide with people. I'm able to just stop them. It makes it help for them to even try to score or do any type of thing. Also, it's hard for them to pass out, so potentially to get a skill off that. Next, we're gonna get to my little um, was it animations, basically like dunks, layers, all that. So. All right, y'all, so to wrap up the whole video, man, I'm going to get into my animations. I know a few of y'all was asking what type of animation I had on for my big man, so here they are. So the first off, I'm going to start off with my layouts. I have default big man, none too fancy. He can't really, I don't really get access to him much stuff, so I just keep it just neutral with all that other stuff. But into my dunks, I have the basic one hands off one. I have the basic two hands off one. I have the big man off one. I have um, under the basket regulars, under the basket rim pulls, and under the basket athletic flushes. And next up, we're going to get into the alley oops and the contact dunks. And you can see right here, I have pro alley oops. And that's really all I can really get, unfortunately. And for my contact dunks, obviously, I have the contact, um, the big man contact dunks. That's really all that is, man. But to really wrap up the video, man, I hope that I found this a little interesting. I hope y'all enjoyed the montage early on. See, you see the potential with the build, man. And I'm working on my sharp rim right now, so that's really all that is to it. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I hope you found it useful. And I'll catch you on the next ones, man. Peace out.